All right, I'm at Chiugaka Station with Dennis and Marisol. Yep. All right, so we changed direction. We are actually going to head to, where are we going, Marisol? Harajuku. Harajuku. Oh, I pronounced so, it wrong. <laughs> that's all right. But there's cool street photography there, and that should be fun. So we'll shoot that for a little while, and then see where the world brings us. Okay, so we stopped off in Shibuya, and uh, this is where you train, change trains to go to Harajuku, so uh, natural place to kind of stop and shoot a little bit. Dennis was kind enough to loan me the amazing Exxonon 60mm f1.2, really rare focal length, really rare camera. So it's uh, kind of cool that uh, I get to shoot this for the day, so I'm pretty excited. It's going for crazy, crazy prices on eBay, so really cool. Dennis is behind me shooting right there. So, cool, off to Harajuku. I said, okay, one train stop, and we are in Harajuku. So, having not been here for a while, this is a cool place for street photography. Lots of cool action, you can see how crowded the station is. So, it's, uh, it's a pretty packed location, so let's check it out. Okay. All right, so we've been shooting in awesome Harajuku. Some kind of interesting shops. Look at some clothes, but not quite my uh, not quite my age range. I think they don't make it for uh, late 30s. Uh, so I just having some Starbucks, and uh, look at this. It's not as big as it looks. It's the wide angle lens. Um, no, it's pretty big. Sorry. Look at it next to my head. You can see how big it is. All right, so we are here in Shinjuku. This is the electronics district, so you can see all the friggin' really big signs and lots of uh, lots of neon. We're heading over to not one of these giant chain stores, but to Map Camera, which is the cool shop. So we're gonna check out hopefully some watches at GMT. Check out some of the cool Leica lenses and some of the cool uh, cameras they have. So that's it. All right, so we checked out Map Camera and we checked out a few other shops. Dennis generously offered to buy Marisol a her own Noctilux, and shockingly, she declined. Um, I offered to take the Noctilux and then trade it for a Hexanon. Uh, but then, so sweet. But then Dennis declined, which was which was weird. Which is also shocking. Yes, because it's not as pretty as Marisol. I thought it was a standing like an open offer. I didn't realize that we were discriminating it was like just towards one person. Yeah, I know, which is weird because we were there as a group. Yeah. So it seems strange to not you know offer that to the group. To the other person. Yeah, it's weird. I, I wouldn't have done it, but I mean, listen, I'm not Dennis, so I don't want to judge him, especially because he's behind me. So. Okay, we abandoned Yakitori. Alright, we abandoned Yakitori Alley. It was far too crowded. Um, and we actually found one restaurant which I really liked, but it was far too smoky. So I'm not a big smoker. So we're gonna now have some Japanese shabu shabu. So the boiled water and shabu 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 to cook our pork. So kind of exciting. What do you guys think? I think it sounds good. Yeah. Woo, cool. And then after that, we are going to hit the photographer's bar in Golden Guy. And I will not give you the directions on how to get there. You need to find it yourself. It's not something you put a map of, but once you find it, I think you'll think it's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. All right, so this thing is getting filled with deliciousness. Like this shiitake mushroom, crab, and whatever this is, nigi, all goodness. And it is a requirement to drink beer. So again, I am just trying to honor the Japanese culture. It's not my decision. It's not something I want to do. So this is Japanese beef. This is the special beef, and it is in uh, sesame cream sauce with garlic. This is so freaking good. This is the essence of Japanese food. Uh, highly, highly, well, maybe not the essence of Japanese food, but one the essence of one of what I, what are the essence? That's what I like to eat. Highly recommend it. So, here we go. Oh. Oh. So this is Golden Guy. This is that really cool little set of alleys. And this is the little stoop I filmed the beginning of my Shoot Tokyo uh, Kickstarter project 
uh, video on. So right here, that was kind of cool. All right, so we are here in the very cool photographer's bar. Check this place out. <laughs> the university too for a while after I like, got back to the US but that was almost 12 years ago. Like the so I, I can still understand like, somebody else will tell me you know, where to go or how to go. Yeah. There are photographs everywhere in here. This place is friggin' cool but you have to find it on your own. That's no map. Don't expect a lot of conversation. Expect a lot of this kind of behavior. Sort of basically people shooting things and not really paying attention to you. All right, so uh, Marisol, Dennis, and I shot Tokyo. We went to Shinjuku, we went to Harajuku, Omatasando, Shinjuku, and now we are uh, went to Golden Guy. Uh, they've jumped in a taxi to go home, and I am now in a taxi going home as well. So that's what we can do in Tokyo in a day. Uh, I should have a couple of blog posts from this. I shot my Leica M9 with my Noctilux, and I shot my uh, monochrome with a 28 millimeter. So hopefully I can get two posts out of that. So um, and Dennis was kind enough to loan me his uh, Hexanon 60 millimeter, so I use that uh, with my uh, Leica M9P. So uh, looking forward to see kind of what those images look like. And uh, all in all, it was a really cool day. So uh, I'm glad those guys came out. Uh, we went to the photographer's bar, we actually bumped into one of my blog readers that I met in San Francisco, so that was kind of random, so kind of cool. So anyways, hope this video was interesting to you guys, and hope to see you guys in Tokyo. Thanks. Have a great night. Hey man, are you, are you, uh, are you, are you that shoot Tokyo guy? I try to not let people know who I am, but sometimes... You are shoot Tokyo! Holy cow! All right, quick question. Do I actually look like a fisherman? I've heard that. No, you really don't. <laughs>